In this video we'll talk about how to create a live paint group and begin to paint within Illustrator. First thing I'm going to do is come up to my layers panel. I'm going to take my line layer, which I'm going to label right now, contour lines. I'll label this one photograph and I'm going to take my contour lines layer, I'm going to drag and copy it and I'm going to change this new layer's name to live paint. I want to uncheck the eyeball or the visibility on my contour lines layer which should be in the middle. I also want to lock the contour lines layer so we don't accidentally mess with that. We just want to make sure that we're working in the live paint layer now. I'm going to begin my live paint process by using my magic wand tool and then clicking one of my vector lines so that all of them are selected. Now I'm going to go up to object I'm going to go down to Live Paint, and I'm going to say Make. For those of you who like shortcuts, it's Alt-Control-X. Now, nothing really looked like it changed, but if I come over to my toolbar here, I find my Shape Builder tool, which is two circles and like an arrow. I'm going to click and hold, and then I'm going to find my Live Paint bucket, which the shortcut for that is K. That might be a good one to learn since you'll be doing this often. From here I can manipulate my stroke and my fill and before I start painting I want to make sure I'm going to come up to the live paint bucket icon. I'm going to double click that and I'm going to make sure that both my paint fills and my paint strokes are checked. And this is telling Illustrator that I can easily manipulate the color changes, the pattern changes, whatnot of both my paint fills and my paint strokes. We're going to say OK. From here, I can double click and choose colors to fill in my shapes. I can choose arbitrary colors like this, or I can come and use my eyedropper tool. I can click, oops. I'm going to deselect everything, shift control A if this is happening to you. We don't need everything selected anymore. I can come and sample a certain color. So there's like a pear green. And I can go back to my live paint and then fill in with the colors that I've sampled. So this one I want it to be a little bit lighter. I'm going to choose that light yellow. Let's see. And come back to my live paint and then fill. Within live paint I can also manipulate the color of my stroke. Uh, for example maybe I want to get rid of my stroke between colors not have this blue showing. I will move around, move my cursor until I see my stroke highlighted and I can just go ahead and click that accordingly. Um, I can bring that stroke back at any time even though it looks like it's disappeared. I can change it at any point in time by double clicking, choosing black, saying OK, and coming to my live paint, clicking, and then bringing that stroke back. You'll notice that this stroke is a little bit thinner than the one I have here. It's because it's at one point Anytime you can also change the weight of the stroke in addition to the color. Nice thing about live paint is that it just easily lets you change and play with different colors, different color combinations, different stroke lengths, just a lot of variables that are easily changeable and put back. So it's not like painting where if you make a mistake, um, it's a little bit harder to undo. And that's the gist of the live paint function. And in subsequent demos, I will show you some more advanced techniques within live paint.